I took a slap shot in the face and it, you know, injured my right inner ear. The force went right out here and I had rain, geez, for, for months. By the end of the season, I started noticing something was off and, and I didn't know what it was. I just thought, hey, you know what, I'm just getting old. We went down a path that really delayed me finding out that I had a vestibular issue. And, you know, a couple months went by and just, you know, okay, Bryce, you know, you should be back, you should be fine. And, you, you know, you go through all the protocols and you're checking off all the boxes, and, but you're saying, no, I'm not right. I, I, I know inherently that I'm not right. It's almost a mixed blessing that concussion is so in the news these days. Right now, concussion is hot. On the plus side, it has brought it to light. You know, it used to be the dark subject that no one wanted to deal with. So I had um, la la loss of balance and base barely any balance, which I've always had really good balance because I danced and I did play soccer and cheerleading and all this stuff. So I couldn't remember anything. I could barely concentrate. When someone would talk to me, I couldn't even like understand what they were saying. Well, it's been very difficult because she, as a high achiever, decided that she was going to get all the symptoms that a concussion would give. Yes. <laughs> um, and um, she had very severe headaches. Um, which of course affects her mood as well. She's miserable. Memory, cognitive ability can really be affected. And when that's affected and the children can't read or they can't go to school, they can't go to class, they can't you know, interact with their friends, that affects their mood. She had lack of concentration, lack of sleep, and the balance issue as well. So it was very difficult for her, which of course makes it difficult for me to see her that way. One of the most important things is that if a child is feeling the effects of a concussion, certainly for several hours thereafter, we really want them to see a healthcare provider. Turn your head to face the same one that you're looking at. So vestibular rehabilitation has, has really come into its own over the past several years. We have a much better understanding of how to measure a vestibular problem. We can measure what part of the system is actually not functioning correctly. And then we put you through a course of rehabilitation depending on what part of the system is, is not functioning properly. So much of my senior year cheer at least was taken away from me. Um, I couldn't even cheer at my senior game. I came afterwards for the ceremony, but I couldn't cheer at it, which I hated. <laughs> team sports in particular, the key is keeping them involved with the team. Coaching and, and teaching techniques have become really important. Um, teaching uh, kids as they're progressing through the, the stages of development of how to properly um, uh, take contact or give contact. There's, there's a push towards equipment. Uh, there's a lot of analyses being done on helmets and different styles and types of helmets. Better neck control for prevention of neck injuries. I think that sports are vital in, in a child's development. I see that there's progress being made. We want all kids to play the sport that they want to play.